Hi Taurus, welcome to your July reading. This is a check-in on energy for July for anyone with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And anyone who may be watching for a Taurus, these are your messages. Okay, so we're going to start with a dragon card and see what dragon is guiding you. We're getting the turquoise dragon, which is about sensitivity, radar, receptivity. I feel like you're picking up on a lot of a lot of downloads and a lot of um, energies that are informing you about your own connection to your intuition, your own connection to what what it is that's aligning for you. Because this is about your own radar and you being this beacon, radar beacon that's picking up on a lot of. I'm getting a, actually a lot of star seed energy today, so let's get a star seed card. I feel like you're connecting to star beings, star guides, which is all 101. You could be opening portals. I feel like you yourself are coming into some channeling abilities on a very high level. And you are becoming a channel in your own right. You are becoming sensitive to receiving messages from the beyond. You may be receiving messages from Pleiadians. You may be receiving messages from Arcturians, from the whales, the dolphins, the mermaids. Maybe receiving messages from dragons, fairies, elementals, okay? And don't doubt that you are getting these types of messages because they're coming to you. And I also feel if you have a soulmate connection, you are becoming more activated by knowing that you are going to be stronger when you surrender, fall into my arms. You're going to be stronger when you surrender to trusting that this is a very powerful connection that you have. You have this the frequency of sound, whale and orca elders. So again, there's a strong feeling that you may be getting clear audience messages. You may be tapped in with another soul, a twin flame, a soulmate. You may be getting telepathic messages from a twin flame connection. And also your light body is activated. You've got this star bathing, I saw 222. So it's like you're becoming more crystalline than carbon. You're becoming more crystalline energy than you are carbon-based, and your light body is activated. Empathic starseed. You have a lot of ability to transmute energy that's coming from people around you, that's coming from the matrix itself that's dissolving, and I feel like you are reflecting back to everyone a much higher vibration. So you may feel like, you are getting used to feeling physically different in your vessel because you are actually embodying a much higher frequency than those around you with this with this energy. And it's like you yourself are embodying a higher dimension of consciousness and a higher dimension of reality. And you are helping others start to intuitively sense that there is something more than what meets the eye to what's happening around us. Because I feel like... But Taurus, um, just to take a step back, Taurus is very connected to Pleiadian energy. I have a Taurus rising. And so when you have a Taurus energy, when you have it in one of your big three, when you have a strong connection to Taurus, you have a strong connection to Orion, and you have a strong connection to the Pleiadians. And so you are basically a, most likely a Pleiadian starseed, or you have Pleiadian guides. And you are embodying that frequency of unity consciousness for everyone around you. So let's get an animal. See what kind of animal is guiding you at this time. With fall into my arms, you're holding the opposites and the extremes of life. So I'm also getting, you may have people in your energy field that are extremely opposite from you, that are holding 3D consciousness, that are very challenging to you, that I feel like you have to find some kind of surrender with the fact that you are holding such extreme difference from others. And sometimes with this frequency of sound, you may be very misunderstood when you speak. And people may not understand you. And that's because you are in two different realities. <laughs> because you are most likely holding a much higher reality. And you are. Uh, the challenge would be not to allow someone else's frequency or a different vibration to hold you down, okay, or keep you down, okay. We're getting the the crow and the bat. 
So you have this very strong psychic sense that's developing. And the bat would be all these energy vampires that are attempting to keep you from knowing that you're a psychic, knowing you're a seer, knowing you are a high priestess. I feel like I'm talking to someone who's a very strong channel for the divine, the crones, the, um, the witches, the healers. If you're divine feminine, this is very strong divine feminine energy. And the bat would be the ones that are attracted to your light that want to keep you in the darkness. So you may be very challenged at this time to hold your high vibration because there's a challenging dark energy that it could be trying to trip you up. It could be about addictions. It could be about sabotage. It could be about people who are not seeing you for who you truly are. Because the bat energy, let's see what it says about the bat. The bats feel like energy vampires that um, are here to, uh, says, a rebirth, letting go, and darkness. So, yeah, this is about you, um, someone refusing to let go of you in the way that you used to be and not seeing you for who you truly are now. So when in balance, it accepts, adapts, and adjusts. And so someone is not adapting to seeing you in your truest light and your truest expression. Before emerging, the bat waits for the sun to set and the moon to rise. In the darkness, it can see all that was invisible in the daylight hours. The bat is a master of the subtle senses, of the underlying forces that cause some things to prosper and others to fade. The bat card shows up to signify the ending of a chapter, the closing of a door. The bat comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours, a new day dawns, no more lingering in the past. So it's a very clear sense that you are moving into the future. You're seeing the future timeline, and you are letting the past go in a very big way. Let's see. Um, I'm just going to get a clarifier for this, what you're leaving behind. What are you leaving behind? I feel like you're leaving behind the old dimension and the old frequency in the matrix itself. <laughs> it's very big. False person. Anything that feels false, anyone, anything, any feel, anyone that feels like an energy vampire. Again, it's just a doubling down on if you had some um, feeling that you were getting messages. I also feel like this is a call to clear up your channel. If you are a channeler, if you are a guide, if you're a seer, you may be getting messages from something false. You may have been getting messages from a false energy or entities that were leading you in the wrong direction. Okay, and I also feel, let's get a tarot card on this. It could be also that you are leaving behind a toxic relationship or a toxic friendship, toxic work situation that no longer serves you. Okay, and it's been keeping you in a lower frequency. Strength, Eight of Cups. Yeah, it says have the strength to walk away from anything that feels false. I feel like that's the message today. We're just doubling down on this message. And know that as soon as you do leave this behind, you are going to start to get more strong, intuitive messages. Your intuition is going to increase. It's going to skyrocket is what I'm hearing. And you are going to feel more connected again to your truest, highest self. Okay, and I feel a lot of Lyran energy as well. You may be connected to the Lyran starseeds. So we've got this lion, feline energy um, in her presence, and this is for masculine or feminine. Okay, those are the messages for July. I'm sending you all much peace and light. Take care, everyone.